Hi guys, so this is the Dubai um, prep vlog actually. Can't wait to go. I'm going in two weeks today. Oh, so exciting. Basically, next week, me and my friends have been planning to go back an itinerary, itinerary, or whatever we're going to be doing for each day. And each person has kind of like a day that they um, pick an activity that they want to do, and we will kind of do it. So I'm looking forward to that as well. I chose Ski Dubai, and I'm looking forward to that. Maybe swap it. Swap what? Like, do club on Wednesday, Shisha Lounge on Thursday, because like Rocket said we'll be doing actual activities on, at the end of the day, whereas the yacht, we're just going to be on the boat, innit? No, we're, we're going to be tired, though, because we're going to be joking. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, but why did you do that? Like, <laughs> why did you do that? Wait, why do you take it? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, you can take it. <laughs> why didn't you take it? <laughs> yeah, but I want to see. So, what if it got stuck? This is beat. Gotta keep a card in my beat. And call the Mari out my teeth. Um, this is the hair, but I'm not too sure how I feel about it because my hair's still red underneath, it kind of like really stands out, and I'm not sure how I'm feeling. It's not her fault, but I just should have done a different color, yeah. So, right now, the hair is still fresh, so it really hurts. And this is only 110, this includes the um hair as well in it so doing the hair the service and um buying the hair as well so the price for the price i'll say it's good but i'm just really upset that i did i didn't do a different color for this but when it grows out hopefully it'll be all right this is wow I'm not feeling it. hi guys anyway Ossie, Ossie says hi anyway guys so i just got my final order I'm, this is actually the final order i'm doing because i'm actually very much tired of we'll buying stuff sorry we'll yeah i'm very much tired because now i need to plan outfits for each day because i've just been buying recklessly and i haven't been thinking things through so today i'm gonna plan every fit for every event that we're going to i bought these earrings it's been ages since i bought earrings i never usually buy earrings but i feel like it kind of goes with the hair you know um afrocentric and all that kind of stuff let me show you this one this one is like a hoop with like some butterflies on it Thanks. I think this will look real cute with like a nice dress or something. Or maybe, actually not to the beach. I feel like we'll get stuck on something. Let's go to the beach, beach. But yeah, I've still got to do my nails on Thursday. I've got to do, what else is that? I've got to do my wax. I've got to do my lashes. Wow, why is there still so much to do? My room's really messy, but here's the first dress. I really like it. I don't even really like the towel and effects thing, but this kind of works. I'm not sure if this is going to be allowed in dubs, you know? But, um, do you know what I mean? No, honestly, this is a bit high. This is like bum cheek high. <laughs> Let me move this back. This is actually quite high. Yeah, this is size six. And I'm a, normally a 10, 12. But this is okay. You know what, guys? I think I'm actually starting to like it i think i might like the red but i bought like this black spray just in case i'm not feeling it too soft but i like it so far like when i put it up it's kind of cute so um yeah right now i'm going to go get my vaccine because <laughs> um i'm actually so behind on this sort of stuff but um i was told that i could just call nhs for them to um update that when i get it done my holiday is in what three days now four days and i'm so behind literally got my lashes tomorrow nails the day after um <laughs> i'm actually so behind i was trying to pack yesterday and i've still got more shopping to do i've still got more shopping to do well i don't know what you girls gonna do but we're gonna work it out it works. you know i needed you why would you leave me keeping it real every day it ain't easy caught against was it come on next season days you're able to just stay with me please i'm gonna bless the mom and like she's still Guys, so I've just come from getting my lashes done and I don't think I'm a fan just yet. Maybe because I haven't done it in ages, but I'm not I'm not really feeling it, you know? But it's gonna have to do. And it was so uncomfortable, like it took so long. Maybe because I haven't done lashes in ages, I'm not used to just lying down in one position for ages, but 
I felt like I was there for hours. I mean, I was there for hours, like literally like two hours in the same position. The bed was uncomfortable. I don't even know if I could recommend, but I don't know. I might change my mind later when I get used to it, but I don't, I don't think I like it, but we'll see. I'm hungry. I've barely eaten all day. Um, I had my vaccine yesterday, so I've been feeling so tired and weak today. And like, literally, I've felt so sick this morning. But I'm going to go have, get myself some McDonald's. Yeah, I'm going to get myself some McDonald's. <laughs> it's like 4.15 and this McDonald's is full of like bear kids. I don't remember McDonald's being like a link-up spot when I was younger. Or was it? Actually, it might have been. I don't know. <laughs> so the other day I came here, yeah, and I noticed that they have the Monopoly back. And I thought that was a summer thing, but it's like september and for some reason they're doing a monopoly again i'm a bit confused i forgot to mention i'm all the way in info so i've driven like what 40 minutes to get my lashes done i'm not happy like i'm not happy this was a lot of effort to come here the lashes are 50 pounds which is like what i guess standardish price anyway so so i don't know for 50 pounds at least give me what i want Man, my eyes are closed for two hours straight i was scared i was real scared guys it's like five minutes to two like a.m like i went to primark earlier to um buy a suitcase and i saw 50 pounds and i turned around so i'm trying to squash everything into the suitcase i have now but i don't think it's gonna happen i'm gonna have to spend that money i don't want to why is a suitcase so expensive guys this is like my busiest day out of this whole prep like i feel like i'm so behind I know I've still got like a couple more days, but I just feel like I'm just so behind. So I've just gone to get my leg and stomach waxed here. Yeah? And I must say that the stomach one was painful because normally I shave and I need to start doing that. That's bad because the hair's become like bare thick. I've gone to TK Maxx to try and find a suitcase now. I'm seeing 70 pounds. That's more than the 50 pounds I saw in Primark. So I'm going to go back to Primark later and hopefully that's 50 pounds when it's still there. Cause I'm walking through the market, you know, and like, uh, I don't know what's over, I didn't go and check at the market in the first place, but anyway, I found my suitcases, I found this, like, this big one, this big one for £50, which is the same as the one in Primark, but I feel like this is slightly bigger, I mean, same price as the one in Primark, but this is slightly bigger. Triple double for my knees. I just bought a rover for no reason. I'm on house arrest, I can't even leave. Locked up in the pen, but I ain't pee. The water dripping off me, Uncle Fina. Love my Uncle E, I Uncle Bean. It love my Auntie, please, that Auntie Nina. It's blowing all this money, cause it's free. Scamming in Miami by the beach. Telling all your homies that ain't see. Everything's actually such a mess right now. I'm doing, I'm packing like literally all over again. So I'm organizing my shoes, my clothes, bags, um, accessories, I mean, makeup and stuff and some accessories and literally and Otis on the phone with me and um yeah this is actually a lot this is actually a lot the flight is tomorrow and i'm only just redoing everything basically you know how everyone says you pack your main stuff in the small suitcase so you don't lose nothing anything vital and then you can put in case yeah well you know this is a big suitcase if this gets lost it's a big problem regardless of how much stuff is in there and how much stuff is in the big one it's been a long couple of weeks, but I'm finally done. I'm so Dubai ready. All right, bye. Finally finished packing. Got the big thing, got the small thing, got the hand luggage thing. I need to get um, a travel pillow, but that's that one's for another time. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Now, honestly, I'm so ready to go and get out of this country. Like, it's been great, but you know, Dubai will be greater. And I'm talking like I'm not coming back in like two weeks, but it's all good. It's been a great couple of weeks with you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Guys, I'm annoyed because my eyebrow looks so jarring. Anyway, um, I thought I was done with this travel stuff, but I still got to exchange money. I've gone to two post offices now. One of them was closed, and the other one, um, they said down the exchange, you can only do euros and dollars. I'm like, that's crazy. What the hell? Anyway, I'm now heading to East Ham to, for, to like a bigger money exchange place. So hopefully they will be able to do, uh, what do they use in Dubai? They'll be able to use Dubai, Dubai, Dubai currency for me. And apart from that, after that, I'm definitely like, I'm done, <laughs> done. <laughs> so that'll be all good. And yeah, thank you guys for sticking with me for this vlog. I know I've definitely, definitely missed some stuff out, but 
know, I appreciate you guys about this. And as usual, like, comment, and subscribe, share with your family and friends. And, right, and I'll see you on my Dubai vlog. Bye.